advisory committee members uh, from Maryville College in Tennessee. He's been one of our most active uh, students on campus, and he is going to introduce our special guest. So, David, I'll turn it over to you. Hey, Kyle. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is David Clifford, and I'm a senior at Maryville College in Maryville, Tennessee. We're a small college outside of Knoxville, but we found that the It's On Us pledge was something we could all rally behind to take ownership as a community to stop something that could happen to anyone. As a baseball player, fraternity president, and student body president, last spring I helped coordinate an It's On Us week of action that connected different communities. At first, we feared pushback, but what we found was that our friends, classmates, and teammates all wanted to step up. Half of our campus has taken the pledge. This is not to say it is always easy, but it was worth it. It's an issue that needs continuous attention, and so we keep going this year just as all of you are doing on campuses large and small. And today, we're lucky enough to have someone who has, throughout his distinguished career of service, taken responsibility to stand up and speak for what he believes in, and who always keeps going forward. As a United States Senator, he wrote the Violence Against Women Act, a fundamental step forward in the issue of sexual assault that at the time he was counseled against pushing for. As our Vice President, he has been instrumental in forming the campaign we are all talking about today. He has consistently shined a light on this issue for one simple reason. It is the right thing to do. I am humbled and honored to introduce the Vice President of the United States of America, Joe Biden. Well, thanks an awful lot, David. I appreciate it. Thanks 